the human brain is 100,000 times smaller than a supercomputer and also consumes 100,000 times less energy than a supercomputer. Yet in terms of intelligence, outputs all those strong, expensive machines that we are using. So the question is where the brain get that its power? For the last 13 or 14 years that I've been studying neurosciences, I've read so many books that tell us how the brain works. But what I find is missing is that it tells us that where the power and the, which is the brain come from. Then I came across of this book that pretty much answers this question. Because of that, I found that it would be benefit the students to introduce a course based on this subject. This course is not limited to the theoretical part. The students will learn about some of the most powerful techniques that are used in modern neuroscience. This includes in vivo electrophysiology and large scale single cell imaging. You will learn uh, how we perform the surgery uh, in the laboratory for uh, acute experiments and also chronic implantations. And uh, you will also learn how to interpret some of the evoked uh, potential signals that we can evoke with electricity or with light for optogenetics. In the course, I'm going to explain you about a technique that we use uh, that is called calcium imaging. And for that technique, we have a miniature microscope that is connected uh, in, uh, on top of the head of the animal. And we can see while the animal is behaving, we can track the activity of the neurons and follow these neurons over the day. So during the course, we are going to um, study what is the basis of uh, calcium imaging technique and how this can help us to understand how the brain functions. I hope that you join us for this course this November.